With tensions still high between the U.S. and China, a growing number of states are seeking to ban Chinese companies from buying American land. But how big is the potential risk to U.S. security? Here's Ryan Nobles. In Montana, fears about the security threat from China have been growing ever since that Chinese spy balloon soared across its famous big sky. The Chinese spy balloon was right, right above us. That woke a lot of people up. And it's not just worries about America's vulnerability from the air. Now one of Montana's senators is pushing to keep the Chinese government from buying land nationwide. China is not our friend right now. And the Chinese Communist Party wants to do bad things. Senator John Tester is proposing a ban on entities with ties to China and three other foreign adversaries from buying American farmland and wants to beef up monitoring of land transactions to foreign buyers. Right now, we're not paying any attention to it. The push to prohibit foreign land purchases from China has exploded across America. Fifteen states have passed laws regulating the practice. Much of the focus coming after controversial purchases in Texas and North Dakota where Chinese companies bought land and failed to disclose it to the U.S. government. In Grand Forks, North Dakota, city officials recently blocked construction on land purchased by a Chinese company just 12 miles from Grand Forks Air Force Base. The company has said it's just a corn mill and not an espionage risk. But the Air Force had warned that the project presented a, quote, significant threat to national security. Overall, U.S. intelligence rates the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, as a top security threat the CCP represents both the leading and most consequential threat to U.S. national security and leadership globally. Though an NBC News review tonight, finding nationwide the amount of American land being purchased by Chinese entities appears to be small. Since early 2022, less than 1,400 acres sold to businesses tied to China have been reported to the USDA so far. In total, it appears China controls less than 400,000 acres of American land, which is less than 1% of all the land owned by foreign entities. Here in Montana, a state law banning Chinese citizens from buying land passed with bipartisan support. Brad Molnar was the only Republican to vote no. You create the dragon, it never was a dragon. He says the law is an overreach and would prevent his wife, a Chinese national, from being able to inherit his land after he dies. There's no evidence that I'm aware of that the people that own the land are in any way a threat to American security. If they are, arrest them and remove them. Tonight, Tester tells us more action is needed to counter the security risk from the Chinese government. Are you concerned that we don't even know how much land China has potentially purchased already? I don't think we know how much land they bought. This is prospective. This will stop it happening before it becomes a situation where we go, oh, gee, we wish we'd have done something about that in 2023. While Tester's amendment did pass with wide bipartisan support, it's part of a larger defense package that still needs to be negotiated between the House and Senate in the months ahead.